In an interior view, we must first edit the scheme of our view in order to set the appropriate lighting sources. Under Scheme, there are multiple different lighting scenarios that we can choose from. Let's start by choosing Interior Sun only. Now, let's render a draft of this view. Notice that in this view, the sun coming in from the windows is the only lighting source we have. Now let's try choosing the scheme to interior, sun, and artificial. When the rendering is complete, Notice that we are now getting light coming from the sun outside and from the artificial lights in the studio. Finally, let's try changing our scheme to interior artificial only. At the completion of the rendering process, we can see that the only light being considered in this view is the light coming from the artificial sources. When dealing with schemes that include artificial lighting, we are now able to open the artificial lights dialog. From here, we can control all the lights in our model. To help with organization, lights can be grouped or ungrouped. By selecting the check mark, lights can be turned off or on. Lights can also be dimmed on a scale from 0 to 1, with 1 being the brightest. To help organize our project, let's create a group to include all the studio lights. Let's start by assigning the lights in the studio to a recognizable mark. In the second floor ceiling plan, select all the lights. We can now assign all the lights the mark SP, standing for Studio Pendant Lights. Revit will give us a warning, but ignore it to allow multiple lights to have the same mark. In the first floor plan view, select the floor lamps and assign them the mark SF, standing for Studio Floor. Once again, accept the warning. Now let's return to the Artificial Lights dialog we will see that the new marks assigned to studio lights have been updated. Now choose to create a new group and name it Studio Lights. Our new group now appears with the other groups. To add to the group, highlight the studio lights. Then select Move to Group. Choose the group Studio Lights and select OK. Our studio lights are now in one group. They can be turned off together or dimmed simultaneously. To fine-tune a rendering, open the Adjust Exposure dialog. We are now presented with the same options as we were when dealing with exterior views. To brighten our rendering, let's brighten the exposure and highlights. 
Then lighten the shadows. Select Apply to see these changes. When satisfied with the view, we can select OK to close the dialog.